Hello everyone, in this video let us learn how we can create a custom constrained create issue dialog. In case you are interested in uh, creating this uh, automation in your Jira instance where you can click on uh, some link or some menu item and you want to basically create uh, a new Jira issue in your uh, instance and you want to display your uh, usual uh, create uh, issue screen where people can uh, fill up uh, a form and uh, raise uh, a new request or they can create a new issue it could be a bug it could be a task it could be any kind of activity so in Jira it is uh, definitely possible with the help of of course uh, script runner and in this video I want to create uh, a new constraint create issue dialog where uh, I will let the user create a new issue only when uh, a certain condition is fulfilled. So let me try to explain uh, wh what I'm trying to do. So let us say you have this new, uh, not a new, but you have some issue in your Jira instance and uh, you want some ability for uh, the user who can probably uh, click on uh, some button on top or maybe if they go to let us say uh, some uh, um, some some link on top so let us say if they click on the more they will be presented with the option to create a new issue and uh, of course you can click on the create, but, uh, create button on top uh, what is the difference between this create button and our own uh, custom uh, create button so the purpose of this uh, this example is basically to have some condition in place so my first requirement is that only display this uh, button uh, so I want a new button here called create a create a issue uh, in a different project so that particular option should only be displayed when certain criteria is fulfilled uh, on my current issue so let us say if my priority is high or if my workflow status is let us say in progress or it could be any condition uh, that you may want to check only then your button should appear and the second thing that I want to do is I also want uh, uh, when this new issue is being uh, created so basically when the form is displayed I want to uh, basically pre-fill my uh, target project name and maybe uh, maybe my target uh, issue type so basically we are trying to implement some logic and uh, uh, since you do have the concept of permissions in Jira but we want to make it a bit more easier for the end user we want to help them in uh, raising the right type of request in uh, the right type of project so maybe you can have a couple of buttons here or a couple of menu items and those menu items will be exposed or enabled only when a certain criteria is fulfilled uh, and they can be different use cases and this will probably help uh, in uh, uh, basically having some process in place where uh, people will raise the ticket in the right project using the right issue type so I, I hope you get the idea and implementing this using script runner is uh, actually very easy so let us uh, continue looking at uh, script fragments uh, which is of course one of the option one of the feature in uh, script runner using script fragments you can actually embed your own custom uh, web elements like uh, buttons and links and maybe your own menu items and you can decide what you want to do so if you are within your script fragment section in your script runner uh, section uh, you have few options no you actually have plenty of options to choose from but today we will be looking at a constrained create issue dialog so as the name suggests it will let you create uh, a new issue and it will invoke this uh, create issue form or screen uh, based on certain conditions so let us see how we can do that so as a good practice as a good practice always uh, add some notes so we are trying to create uh, a new issue and uh, where do you want to display this uh, menu item so you can def uh, you can decide uh, the location so if you select operation I believe I keep on forgetting so let me first search for it 
so it should be Jira. So if you select operations with with an S hyphen top hyphen level, it will basically insert a new link under your more section within your Jira issue. So let us select uh, operations uh, top level and uh, you need to give uh, this uh, new script fragment a key. So it would be any key by the way. So let me add something like uh, create new issue top. I hope it is unique and uh, there should be some menu, it menu item text. So it should be something like uh, create a bug maybe. Maybe I want to create a bug in a different project and I want to make sure that uh, my target issue type is bug. So I think this actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, then you can uh, decide the weight that will uh, basically let you change the position of uh, or the order of this new menu, menu item that will be uh, displayed under your more uh, section. I'll leave it blank. Then you, you then you can actually specify some condition when this uh, will be enabled. So I want two conditions in place that my project is, uh, let us say, um, Android, which is one of my project in my instance of Jira. So I'll type in here Android. And it could be any uh, project, by the way. And by the way, this is just uh, an example. But uh, if you want, you can uh, change it to something else. If you know Groovy, I'll probably uh, um, give you some more examples. But if you have been following uh, this uh, script runner series, I am using these examples that are actually ready-made examples. But uh, you can directly paste your uh, Groovy as long as uh, the Groovy is uh, applicable. Uh, for example, right now we are trying to do something with the issue. So this will definitely work. But let us say if you're trying to do something with yeah, with your issue, but uh, the script where you're trying to execute or uh, trying to use this fragment, uh, maybe there is no issue context. So this script, although it could be a valid script, the, the context of the script should be applicable. So uh, you just need to make sure that uh, uh, the condition is actually applicable on that particular uh, script fragment and uh, I may also want to include my issue priority which is let us say highest let us not worry too much about uh, changing it and I want to add both the conditions so I'll probably add uh, this and and uh, I copied the, uh, the earlier condition which is my project key should be equal to Android so now we have two conditions in place and this button this menu item will only be visible when my priority is highest and my project is, of course, Android. So we are not really disturbing the other projects. We are just focusing on one specific uh, project and only uh, a specific uh, workflow status. So let us also select our target uh, project. So my target project, let us say, is uh, test scrum. It could be any or maybe web application. And my issue type could be bug. So this is my uh, target project and target issue type and uh, you can then click on the preview just to make sure that uh, this is working this this seems like it is working and uh, let us click on the add button so we have this new script fragment added and it should be now enabled and let us go back to our uh, issue and if I probably so by the way before I refresh my status is in progress but my priority is low so I don't I shouldn't see my new uh, menu item. So let us refresh and uh, take a look. So now we have this new issue where not only issue but this issue refreshed and uh, uh, I don't see any option here no create uh, bug option. So let us change the priority to highest. And uh, let us say if uh, we have a new option on top. So the moment I change my priority to highest, I should see something here. I'm trying to figure out where is my create uh, a bug option. So it's actually on top. I was looking somewhere down. So yes, we have this new option, create a bug. And uh, in case you're wondering why this search on Google, this is basically coming from a different uh, script 
fragment. Uh, I, I actually showed how we can do that. And if you click on this search on Google, it will actually search on Google and use this uh, issue summary. So you can find that video in my playlist. Uh, so for the time being, let us click on the, but uh, not a button, uh, why I'm saying button, it, it is a, a link. So even if when you click on that particular menu item, you will be taken to this new create issue dialog. The good thing about this uh, particular uh, script fragment uh, is that uh, the project is web application and the issue type is also bug. So there are actually different uh, applications of uh, this uh, script fragment. Uh, one typical example is, let us say if you are working with Jira service test and uh, maybe you want to also create uh, a problem or maybe a bug in a software development project. So when you when you talk about uh, ITSM, you have your typical processes like uh, incident management process, your change management, your problem management, and you have of course many processes. But uh, when when people raise tickets, when there is incidents, uh, and if your level one or level two level support cannot really provide any resolution, uh, you may want to send your ticket to a different team. Maybe it's a software team, maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a different project in your Jira instance. So what you can do, you can actually raise a ticket from your incident, uh, from your service test pro uh, project to your software project using this uh, technique. And uh, what you can also do, you can also link your issues automatically. And, and, the, and the thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is the ability to also put some constraint so your target issue type and target project is actually based on a condition that you define. So if you're, in this case, what we did, we uh, used two conditions, like my project name should be Android and my um, my priority should be uh, highest or my status should be in progress. I mean, uh, it is up to you what, what kind of uh, conditions you want uh, to have. But if you're talking about ITSM based projects where you want to raise a problem only when your uh, status is, let us say, third party or uh, sent to development team. And if, let us say, you have some more uh, fields that you want to check for, you can actually use uh, script runner, script fragments to have this uh, functionality. So this is all I wanted to show in this video and I hope uh, it was useful. Thank you very much.